All right, good morning, guys. I'm gonna make this intro real fast, real quick. I'm about to meet up with Tony and Michael out at East County Bait Tackle. We're about to be fishing Sand V on Tony's boat. So I don't really know anything about this lake. I can't really tell you guys much about this lake. All I know is that it opened up two years ago and it holds monster and it's crystal clear and it's a gigantic, gigantic lake. So I really got nothing left to tell you guys about this lake. Um, this is gonna be my first time there and I'm taking you guys with me onto San V or Lake San V or whatever you want to call it, San V Reservoir. But enough of this rambling, gotta go get some gas, maybe some snacks and head over to East County Bay and Tackle. Let's go. Yep, went into East County. Mike couldn't make it. Oh, there goes my light. Damn you. Let me find my other light. But yeah, here at East, well, I was at East County, but now we are in line. It's just gonna be me and Tony today. Mike couldn't make it. He called out sick, so I'm gonna have to write him up. <laughs> Mike, if you're watching this, man, wish us luck. And yeah, it's just me and Tony today at Sam V. We're in line. There's a tournament going on. So, uh, man, I feel bad that we're fishing while the tournament's going on, but apparently the bite's really hot right now. We will do what we can, stay out of their way, you know, boat etiquette or etiquette etiquette. <laughs> My English is bad. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I picked up some some Demiki fault some Demiki Demiki vault some you know some blade baits a little bit of irons apparently they're busting and breaking on bait fish right now so we're gonna give that a try hopefully land some fish and we had great reports from last week but we'll see how it goes so you guys wish us luck and stay tuned hopefully we catch some fish today oh yeah it is my first time ever at San V so wish me luck Oh, he's getting ready. <laughs> we'll go out and help him out. guys I'm going straight to the GoPro no introduction to the lake I'm gonna do it get this morning put on my glove it's freaking cold don't judge me splashes Almost hit me in the face. <laughs> That's why I got hit. He took it. I popped it out of his mouth. That's the thing about these Jake Paras. Their stock hooks suck. Yeah, but I don't That's a good one. That's on a dead stick. Suspense. Oh, that's a good two and a half, three. That's a chunky one. 
a fatty, dude. Fun with fatties. Yeah, fun with fatties right there. Nice one. Massive heart. That's a good one. They're all over the place, dude. Oh, that hook broke. I didn't even grab that hook and it broke. Three. Oh, so angry. been about let's say we're looking at my gopro an hour and 20 minutes of fishing and it's been pretty decent not bad at all for, for my first time here in san v san vicente reservoir or lake however you guys want to call it it's fun something new to me completely like i said out of my element first time ever at this lake and caught a couple he caught a couple and we're having a good time it's nice and gloomy sprinkles here and there we're somewhere at the lake it's insane it's, it's this lake is pretty damn big i mean i thought el cap was big this is bigger than el cap right by a mile el cap's like more narrow but overall they're both great lakes i mean this year i popped what two lake cherries i, I fish el cap San V. And I fished Murray before, and I fished Santee before. So I, I hit four bodies of fresh water here in San Diego. And it's been doing me pretty well so far. We're just, you know, cruising around, trying to get something to bite. Wind's picking up. There's nothing really much to update you guys on unless you guys enjoy what you guys see so far the first, what, maybe the first five minutes of this video. It sucks that Mike missed out, he's sick, so yeah. Oh yeah, and Tammy. Tony said you said hi, so if you're watching this, yeah. <laughs> yeah this lake's huge. And you guys look right behind. You guys ever had never been here before. This is only part of the lake. This is like what to me I think it's like a quarter of the lake. Not even a quarter of anything. It's like a small little indention of the lake. There's a couple boats out here doing their thing. Everyone's fishing, everyone's catching something. 
But enough of this rambling, enough of this talking. I'm gonna slap you guys back on my chest and do some more fishing. And shout out to this guy, Tony, right here for putting me on some some good largemouth bass fishing. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be, even be catching fish to begin with. So thanks a lot, man. Well, back to fishing we go. Fatty. Well, rest in peace to your hooks. Huh? Your hooks. <laughs> One is like bent straight out. Let's go, we got a bleeder. Yeah. Turning the boat. She's turning the boat. They ain't taking you around the whole damn boat. Oh, that's light line, dude. Yeah. That's exactly why I ran back there with mine. Fun though, man. Super fun. Hold on, light line. <laughs> oh, dude, my whole rod just went down. <laughs> At it. Oh well. Yeah, right when I was gonna go down for it too. Part of the game, guys. Can't get mad. All right, the day is almost coming to an end. So far, so good. It was fun, very, very fun. I would definitely hit this lake up one again with Tony. And I wish Mike was here. It would have been super fun to have all three of us on fish this morning. But we might come back again soon. And yeah, dude, just searching for these breakers is, it's something else. It's completely different. It's like, it's like chasing Bonito Yellowtail, but you're chasing largemouth. It's just their fight's so much different. They're, they're biting these little irons we're throwing. Ah, light line, light gear, so much fun. If you guys never tried this before, you know, get out there and try, bring your kids, do something, get them out here. I don't know what part of the lake we're in, but like I said, this lake is huge. First time ever here, first time ever fishing here, first time ever set, stepping foot, this part of town or this lake ever. What, this lake opened up about two years ago? Yeah, so this lake's been closed for 10 years and they opened up in 2016 and sometime in uh, September. A lot of tournaments are hosted here. A lot of people come out here to, you know, wakeboard, ski, do their thing. And a whole lot of fishermen come out here, or a whole lot of anglers come out here and do, do a lot of bass fishing. Like Tony was uh, explaining to me earlier that when, what, the first 
two three months of them opening the bite was insane it was unreal and you know it was uh, a dream lake for a little bit yeah yeah i mean everyone loved it and like yeah not everybody hates it just like anywhere else you know it could could be the best lake best body of water you ever fish for an x amount of time then it just take a crap on you but that's like it's like that everywhere else but that's part of fishing you're either gonna catch them you're not gonna catch anything get a couple bites you know we're out here we're having fun you know this right here beats any day in the office any day in the office any day at work and we'll definitely do it again here you guys go my uh, keepers for the day and take them home and eat them I'm just kidding but I'm happy first time ever sand V caught plenty of fish so I'm gonna let these guys go so let these two guys go Yeah, and um, they took off. Those two took off fast. Oh, well, thanks a lot, dude. Appreciate it. Super cool. Oh, that was awesome. So we're gonna head back to the boat dock right now and get cleaned up and call it a day. So I'll see you guys back at the boat dock. All right, so we are back at the boat ramp, boat launch, boat ramp, boat dock, wherever the hell it is. We are calling it a day. And uh, I'm probably just gonna end this video right here at the boat ramp. There's still some people fishing around. The tournament's still going on. Tony went to go get his car. We're throwing Jigparas, you know, seven to 10 gram. It, it varied on the color. We threw a white, silver, blue, black and blue, or silver and blue, silver, white, whatever it is. But everything will be listed below in the you know, description. So be sure to check that out with all the gear, lures, line, etc. I use. The rigs I caught them on today was my Shimano Stella 2500 paired with the black chrome. Phoenix black chrome 71 medium light with eight pound braid to eight pound floral leader. And my second combo, I'm sorry for the boat in the background, it's pretty loud. My second combo was Daiwa Alpha SV paired with a six foot eight phoenix recon elite light fast action you know light power is it's kind of rare you can say to find a light power rod but that rod held up with these you know two to three pound bass no problem also eight pound tests and it was fun we didn't lose no bait we lost a couple fish we caught a lot of fish and overall i think it was a phenomenal day and definitely want to come back again what is this I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to my channel, new to this video, new to whatever you see on this channel, consider subscribing for some more videos coming soon your way. Be sure to give me a follow on Instagram if you already haven't. If you always want to get in contact with me, hit me up on Instagram. I'm always on there. I reply back as fast as I can. And, and, and again, if you did enjoy, give me a thumbs up. It'll help me out a lot. So until next time, guys, peace out.